in today's video we are going to learn about wood we will also learn about various types of woods and its uses we will also study about its physical properties and chemical properties so let's get started first the basic meaning of wood wood is a porous and fibrous structural tissue found in the stems and roots of trees and other woody plants Wood is an organic material and a natural composite of cellulose fibers that are strong in tension and embedded in a matrix of lignin that resists compression. Wood performs a support function in a living tree, enabling woody plants to grow large and stand up by themselves. Wood also transports water and nutrients between the leaves and tissues and the roots. Wood has been used for thousands of years for fuel as a construction material. for making tools and weapons furniture paper wood is an abundant renewable source of energy the next we are going to learn about the history of wood earliest known plants to have grown wood it was approximately 395 to 400 million years ago wood can be dated by carbon dating and in some species by dendrochronology to determine when a wooden object was created People have used wood for thousands of years for many purposes including as a fuel or as a construction material for making houses tools weapons furniture packaging artworks and paper known constructions using wood date back to 10000 years recent use of wood has been enhanced by the addition of steel and bronze into construction so in the next we are going to learn about physical properties of wood growth rings up is one of one of the many physical properties of wood wood is yielded by trees which increase in diameter by the formation between the existing wood and the inner wood where the differences between the four seasons are distinct growth can occur in a seasonal pattern leading to growth rings these can usually be seen at on the end of a log most clearly but are also seen on the other surfaces where there is a little seasonal difference growth rings are likely to be absent if the bark of the tree has been removed in a particular area the rings will likely be deformed as the plant overgrows the scar as the tree gets larger in diameter the width of the growth ring decreases next is knots as a tree grows lower branches often die and their bases become overgrown and enclosed by subsequent layers of trunk wood forming a type of imperfection known as a knot knots affect the technical properties of the wood usually reducing the local strength and increasing the tendency for splitting along the wood grain In the tree a knot is either the base of a side branch or a dormant bud a knot is conical in shape Next we will learn about hardwood and sapwood hardwood is a wood that has become more resistant to decay due to a naturally occurring chemical transformation hardwood formation is a genetically programmed process that occurs spontaneously some species begin to form hardwood very early in life so having only a thin layer of live sapwood which while in others the change comes slowly thin sapwood is characteristic of such species as chestnut mulberry orange black locust while in maple ash hackberry pine thick sapwood is the rule some species never form hardwood sapwood is the younger outermost wood there are the principal functions of sapwood are to conduct water from the roots to the leaves to store up the water in the leaves as resources and give back according to the season all wood in a tree is first formed as sapwood there exists no definite relation between the growth rings and the amount of sapwood next we are going to learn about the color of the wood the natural color of hardwood is usually darker than that of the sapwood in those species of wood which show a distinct difference between hardwood and sapwood the color of wood is produced by deposit of chemical substances in the wood 
Some experiments on long leaf pine specimens indicate an increase in strength due to the presence of resin which increases the strength when the resin dry. Since the late wood of a growth ring is usually darker in color than the early wood, this fact may be used in visually judging the density and the hardness and strength of the wood. Abnormal discoloration of wood often means a diseased condition indicating unsoundness. unsoundness. The discoloration is merely an indication of injury caused by insects and birds and in all probability the discoloration does not itself defect, affect the properties of the wood. Next we are going to learn about water content of the wood. Water occurs in living wood in three locations namely cell walls, protoplasm, cell cavities and spaces. Wood that is thoroughly dried retains 8, 8 to 16 percent of the water in the cell walls and practically none in the other locations. General effect of the water content upon the wood substance is to render it softer and more adaptable. Next is the structure of wood. Wood is a heterogeneous hygroscopic cellular and anisotropic material. Wood consists of cells and the cell walls are composed of microfibers of cellulose and hemicellulose impregnated with lignin. Next we are going to learn about early wood and late wood. In temporary soft woods there is often a difference between late wood and early wood. The late wood, wood will be denser than the early wood. When examined under a microscope the cells of dense late wood are seen to be very thick walled and with very small cell activities while those found first in the season have thin walls and large cell cavities. The strength is in the walls, not the cavities, hence the greater the proportion of late wood, the greater the density and strength. It is not only the proportion of late wood but also its quality that matters. In ring porous woods, each season's growth is always well defined because the large pores formed early in the season but are on the denser tissue of the year before. In the case of ring porous hardwoods, there exists seems to exist a definite relation between the rate of growth of timber and its properties. The more rapid the growth or the wider the rings of growth are, the heavier, harder, stronger and stiffer the wood becomes. In the diffuse porous wood, In the diffuse porous woods, the distinction between rings is not always clear and in some cases is almost invisible to the naked eye. When there is a clear distinction, there may not be a noticeable difference in structure within the growth ring. In diffuse porous woods, the vessels are, or pores are even sized so that water conducting capabilities is scattered throughout the ring instead of collected in the early wood. Next, we are going to learn what is monocot wood. Structural material that resembles ordinary dicot or conifer timber in its gross handling characteristics is produced by a number of monocot plants and these are also called wood. The structure and composition of the monocot wood is quite different from ordinary wood. Next is the specific gravity which is also one of the physical property of the wood. As an indicator of quality, the single most revealing property of wood is specific gravity because both pulp yield and lumber strength are determined by specific gravity. Specific gravity is the ratio of the mass of a substance to the mass of an equal volume of water. Next is wood density. Wood, de wood density is determined by multiple growth and physiological factors compounded into one easily measured characteristic of the wood age, diameter, height, trunk growth, geographical location, site and growing conditions, silvicultural treatment and seed source all influence the wood density to some degree. Variation in wood density is to be expected. Those were the physical properties of the wood. Now we are going to learn the various types of woods. It is common to classify wood as either soft wood or hard wood. Wood from conifers like pine tree is called soft wood. Wood from broad leaved trees like oak tree is called hard wood. These names are a bit misleading as hard woods are not necessarily hard and soft woods are not necessarily soft. There is a strong relationship between the properties of wood and the properties of the particular tree that produced it. Density of wood varies with the species. Density of a wood correlates with its strength. Next is the chemical composition of wood. 
the chemical composition of wood varies between species but it is approximately 50% carbon 42% oxygen 6% hydrogen 1% nitrogen and 1% other elements mainly calcium potassium sodium magnesium iron and manganese by weight wood also contains sulfur chlorine silicon phosphorus and other elements in small quantity Aside from water, wood has three main components: cellulose, hemicellulose, lignin. The three components are interwoven, and direct covalent linkages exist between the lignin and the hemicellulose. In chemical terms, the difference between the hardwood and softwood is reflected in the composition of the lignin. Wood also contains a large variety of non-structural constituents, like called extractives. Extractives are low molecular weight organic compounds. Extractives are present in the extracellular space and these compounds can be extracted from the wood using different neutral solvents such as a stone. Composition of extractives varies over wide ranges and depends on many factors. The amount and composition of extractives differs from between tree species, various parts of the same tree and depends on genetic factors and growth conditions such as climate and geography. Wood extractives display different activities. Some of them are produced in response to wounds and some of them participate in natural defense against insects and fungi. Extractives contribute to various physical and chemical properties of the wood such as wood color, fragrance, durability, adhesion and drying. Most extractives can be collect, categorized into three groups, aliphatic compounds, terpenes, phenolic compounds. Next we will learn about various uses of wood. First is wood is used as fuel. Wood has a long history of being used as a fuel which contains to this day mostly in rural areas of the world. Second is construction purposes. Wood has been an important construction material since humans began building shelters, houses and boats. Nearly all boats were made out of wood the late 19th century and wood remains in common use in boat construction even today. Next use is flooring. A solid wood floor is a floor laid with planks or battens created from a single piece of timber. Since wood is hydroscopic, this potential instability effectively limits the length and width of the boards. The other use of wood is our engineered wood products. Engineered wood products include Building products engineered for application specific performance requirements are used in construction and industrial applications. Glued engineered wood products are manufactured by bonding together wood strands, veneers, lumber or other forms of wood fiber with glue to form a larger, more efficient composite structural unit. These products include glued laminated timber, wood structural panels, laminated veneer lumber and other structural composite lumber products. Wood unsuitable for construction may be broken down mechanically or chemically and used as a raw material for other building materials such as engineered wood. Wood is also used as furniture and utensils. Wood has always been used extensively for furniture such as chairs and beds. Wood is also used for tool handles and cutlery such as chop sticks, toothpicks and other utensils like wooden spoon and pencil. Other uses of wood include recyclable food packaging, rubber tire replacement applications, antibacterial medical agents and high strength fabrics or composites. Wood has been used as an artistic medium. Wood has been used to make sculptures and carvings for millennia. Other uses of the wood in the arts include woodcut printmaking and engraving. Wood can be a surface to paint on. Many musical instruments are made mostly of wood. Many types of sports equipment are made of wood, for example cricket bats, baseball bats. Those were the various uses of wood. This is it for the today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, share and comment. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe.